Steve, you and I jumped into a game called Worldless. That's right. This is minimalist, is what I'll call it, really. <laughs> right? There's minimal dialogue. There's minimalist art style. I actually find the art style rather charming. I do like how your character is basically just like little blobs, more or less. I think. Like, right? It is. It is very, it, just like you got a couple little points that you got to figure out. Hey, this is your character that you're using, right? And then you set off into the world. It is essentially a spin off of dark versus good, like light versus dark, evil versus good. It's just red versus blue. Like it, it plays yeah. off of all this stuff. And it is this fight for your planet or your world, right? This is why it's called Worldless. And this is what we took away from this minimalist kind of experience of this game. It is very cool to just get in and just almost like chill out in a sense, Steve. I'm going yeah. around and I'm just like, I'm platforming. It's a 2D Metroidvania style game. So you're backtracking and then you're coming back and you're doing things. And then you're going out and looking to level up and then move forward and continue on. And my experience with this has been Yo, I'll sit down and I'll grab a coffee and I sit and I just chill. And away yep. we go. And dude, this is really cool. It's really charming. The story, like I said, is basically that's what it is. It's this fight versus dark versus good and or dark versus light. And the dialogue that pops up at the beginning is almost like that's it. Like that's really about it. Yeah. You run into this character a little bit more, but there's really not much else to go off of. Go out there fight your way through things level up and have a good time and that's basically what i've been doing how about you oh exactly that and like i said it's very minimal on the graphics but it, it like you said it's very pleasing and soothing yeah. uh, for something that's so simplistic you know you get a little bit of background music as well to sort of chill out to and like you i found it's not a game that you want to sing like four or five hours in i found maybe an hour or so bounce off and then jump back in yeah but like you said, you do like have a main hub initially as you progress through the thing and you'll get different doors, which the best way I could describe it is like a spoke of like a wheel that it goes off to different levels. Sure. And you have to go to like a waypoint as well to progress through the game. And you need to do this to level up your character because I found as you come across a few boss fights, they're hard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> it is a turn-based as well the combat and yeah. i did enjoy this i enjoyed this turn-based combat i didn't know if i'll enjoy it as much as i did but you just you do your thing the creature does its thing and then hopefully you'll survive but <laughs> it did run very smooth though when you do die it's straight smooth transition straight back into the boss fight again yeah i love the speed of this game i thought the actually the combat was really charming like it was really kind of cool a nice nice little take off of turn-based combat right it isn't a matter of you jump in and then okay it's my turn well then i got so many ap points right so you got to use your points it's not like that at all in fact you have certain move sets that you can pull off during your turn but once you've done that you then wait for the enemy to counter once they actually do their turn yeah. for attack you can sometimes more or less dodge or use your shield and kind of parry your way around that Hopefully it doesn't break your shield because once it breaks your shield, you're pretty well finished. But it is, yeah. dude, the combat was cool. I loved it. I was like, man, this game is for as simplistic as it is. And then the background too, if you notice yeah. as you're playing, right? There is, there's these two spheres in the background all of a sudden there's the bl red one and then there's a the blue one and they're doing battle as they're, I'm like, man, they, yo, I just love it. World, this is awesome. Yeah, it's one of these games that you should keep playing this because I was getting to a point of you just stuck with one character and just level up. And the more I progress, you actually unlock another character that you can actually switch between the two. And these abilities are just totally different to your first character, which you need at the beginning of the game where you can't progress further up. Yeah. You now have a double jump with this character or his abilities and his, his weapons are a lot better and more powerful as well. So I really like the idea of that in this. Steve, all in all, dude, World This is a great game. This has been a ton of fun, yeah. charming, simplistic. The story is enough to pull you through with enough intrigue that keeps you going. I think the level design was really well done as well. I did find myself getting a little lost at times though, however, like as much as the level design is good, the map for me is trying to figure out, okay, where am I going to go now here? But then traversing everything feels right on point. Combat, such a cool little turn-based yeah. twist. Really, really charming. 
World List is something people should check out. I'm there with an 8.5. How about you? Yeah, I'm giving World List an 8. I really enjoyed this. Everything we just touched about, I'm really enjoying it. It could even be a good game, sort of like a handheld, if you're just on the go yeah. or something like that. But it's a really good, solid game.